So we're going to show the intraticular space. We're looking at the lateral aspect of the knee. This is distal, this is proximal, patella is there, tibia tuberosi is there, the fibula is here, tibia is over here. So we're going to come and just look at that suprapatellar region. And we can see very nicely now the space. And you see where the fat pad is there and the quad tendon. And if we're going to do an injection, this is my preferred way to do injections, this direction. So we can measure that our entry point is about one centimeter roughly and that we need to have a slight downward trajectory to get down to that area, but we don't want to hit the bone, we don't want to hit the cartilage, and we don't want to hit the tendon. So if we come at about a spot right here, just kind of enter in, what we're going to find is there's our needle right there. There it is right there, see it right there? There's our needle, and we're right into that joint space immediately. You can see that if I were to come down lower, you can see that that would put me right, unfortunately, into where the fat is. If I would come more proximally up here, I'd be into the tendon. I don't want to be there. So into the joint right there is the ideal spot, and I would do an injection. You can see the fluid flowing right now. See it flowing? And you can see it's clearly flowing easily. It's not creating a bubble. We know we're in the joint. It's flowing throughout the joint. If it's creating a bubble, you're in the fat or in some kind of soft tissue, but there's no bubble being formed. So we know that we're in the right spot. So that's my preferred area. The reason why I don't want to go into my kind of where you'd make a portal for that anterior medial or anterior lateral portal of uh, arthroscopy is actually, it's almost four centimeters away because there's a fat pad behind there, there's Hoffa's fat pad. And to get down into the joint, you have to go four centimeters. And if there's no effusion, the joint space is very much small and potentiated and you might actually go into the cruciates. So going this direction or this direction is not ideal. That's why this region is our best an ideal location for intraarticular injection of the knee.